a video, another video, on strawberry jam. So, I made some jam. I was very happy with it. It was exactly how I kind of wanted it. Well, never exactly how I wanted it. Uh, but it was just about how I wanted it. So, let's try and make it a little bit more user-friendly uh, and cut out some of the faffing. So what I'm going to do is two things. We're going to. I need to know what kind of, um, how much liquid we need to reduce uh, to extract out of the strawberries, so the strawberries suspend in the jam. I don't know. I've got some jam. I've got some stuff. So the strawberries are suspended in the jam, so they don't all float to the top. They are down to the bottom of the jam, which is what I wanted. Um, but that only happens when a certain amount of moisture is taken out of the strawberries. I did this through macerating them. Now you put them in sugar uh, and it draws out some liquid then we use that liquid uh, to, with some more strawberries to make the jam and then we added the macerated strawberries back to the jam and then kind of faffed around with it all. So I kind of need to work out how much liquid uh, we need to extract from the strawberries. Um, so it's a little bit of an experiment and a little bit of a uh, summing things up. So I did macerate some strawberries a few weeks back and that happened. Um, so the strawberries shrink over time as the sugar pulls out the um, moisture from the strawberries and you end up with um, preserved strawberries and like a strawberry cordial, which is very nice. So we're gonna do two things. I'm going to macerate some strawberries, which I'm then going to uh, turn into the jam and we're also going to macerate some other strawberries and we're going to see we're going to uh, keep them uh, in the sugar for a week and then after a week we're going to weigh them see how much liquid has come out of the strawberries and like sieve them and then uh, we'll do it for uh, another week as well so we'll put them back in the syrup and see if any more uh, liquid kind of comes out so this is what I'm going to do so strawberries, probably going to fit in that container. I don't know if they will. They probably won't. I need another container. I'll just put them in that container and see first. I will weigh how many strawberries I've got. I've got rid of this, the stalks out of them and I've washed them slightly. So there is 1,000, 1 1.2 kilos in there. What I'm going to use to macerate these strawberries, I'm going to use some you need to make sure that they're just a bit further down so they're not poking out of the sugar. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use some to macerate strawberries. I'm going to use some oh, stalk out there. I'm going to use some cane um, uh, it's um, preserving sugar uh, to make jam. So I'm going to use this to macerate it and then we've already got the pectin in with the strawberries whereas in the past I just used sugar. We're actually going to use the sugar that we're going to make the jam with. It was also a little experiment for me. So, hopefully, and I've got a little bit more. I've got some preserved sugar as well. So, there's about 200 grams in there. There's a kilo in there, so I should just have enough. So, I need to completely cover them with the sugar and then leave them in the fridge for a week, which seems like a bit of a faff. It just means you just have to be a little bit prepared. Buy the strawberries one week, macerate them for a week, or maybe a little bit longer if we'll see. And then buy some more strawberries the next week, make some jam, add these strawberries, and then add these strawberries to it. So that's that. So that's a kilo with some pectin in, and then we might just be able to pat that down carefully. Don't want what will happen is the strawberries will want to sink to the uh, come to the top and the sugar will go come to the, the top of the container, which is not what we want. So, and then we want another 200 grams in here, and then it's equal quantity, so it's then the equal quantities of sugar and strawberries. I'm waffling already, I know I am, but it's also for my benefit as well. So. 
this is that's that. So the strawberries are roughly the same size as well. And then we'll put a lid on that and, and we'll keep it in the fridge for a week. So then, as a side experiment, I'm going to do the same with these strawberries. So I want to see how much liquid comes out of these strawberries in a week. These are just smaller strawberries. Um, I suppose what I would do is, um, yeah, what I would do if I, if I was being doing this in a different way, I would sort through the strawberries. The strawberries want to be about the same size, uh, the ones that we're going to put the whole strawberries in the jam. So I'd buy, I bought five punnets of strawberries of two quid, which is really twi which is tweep, which is really cheap. So, but what I've done is I've gone through, I've picked out the small ones, and I've um, and then I picked out the big ones. I would then make the jam base for it out of the straw, small strawberries. Oh, I don't want that water in there. So, I would then make the jam base out of these smaller strawberries. Donk, donk, donk. And then, and then use the big strawberries for the The, uh, I've got 500 grams in, and that's an equal amount, isn't it? So, 500 grams, so 503 grams, so that's like a, a good amount. And then we want 500 grams worth of sugar in there. So I've made the, the jam base out of small strawberries, and then I use the bigger strawberries as the strawberries that are in the, suspended in the jam. But I'm not going to do that, I'm going to make some more. Make some more jam next week. So I have to shake it up a little bit, a bit more vigorous because that's happened. So I need a lid, green one, ever prepared. Maybe I should have put some sugar in the container before we start. Get it fine. So, what are we up to? So we're up to... There. So that's 300 grams worth of sugar. I need to put another 200 grams worth of sugar in that. But we can't do that uh, until a little bit of space has gone down in the jar. I'm going to put a bit more in. Number 200 is a good one. I just need to remember to put two more, 200 more grams worth of sugar in there. As the sugar draws out the moisture from the strawberries, uh, the liquid will go down to the bottom and then we'll be able to get more um, sugar in there. Another 200 grams, I must remember. So that's it for a week. They can both live in the fridge and uh, we'll be back next week, which will be the next part of this video, uh, to make the jam and sat around. Right, they've had a week in the uh, in the sugar, so let's lift them out and let's just see. There was a hundred. And, there was one point two kilos, so it's going to be a little juice, a little bit of juice that goes in this container. So let's just weigh and see how much volume they've lost. That's quite a lot, actually. Lots of juice has come out of them. Looks like we're going to have lost half the amount. Yeah, so they've lost about half the, half the volume. Yeah, 600 and well, 650. So they've lo almost lost. No, there's, more, there's liquid in there as well. So we've probably lost about half the volume at the strawberries. So that's okay. Put those on that. Because I want to use. I'm not going to. I'm trying cut down and washing up that I'm making. So that's that. Now I'm gonna be able to get these out of here. Let's see what kind of volume we've lost with these strawberries. I can't remember what the word. But these have shrunk substantially within a week. So I'll have to remember, I'll have to look back on the video. And then we can get an idea of what kind of volume we lose in a week. And I also want to work out what kind of volume of liquid we, we, we have to lose so the, the strawberries won't 
um, float in the jam. So, what's that? That's, that's down to 190-ish. It's okay. So remember that. I should have looked up. What the way? But I can't remember. But anyway, and one's just falling on the floor. Not to worry. I made nice syrup though. Fine. So, we're now going to make a jam with liquid from here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to reduce the liquid down because it's going to be easier to reduce that amount of liquid. And then I'm going to add the sugar to it. And then I'm going to add 120, uh, one point two kilos worth of fresh strawberries to that and then we're going to make the jam and then we're going to add those macerated strawberries to that jam leave it overnight and see how it turns out so liquid wise we've got one point one kilo worth of liquid and there's some sugar in that so i'll reduce that down because it's it's easier to reduce that amount of liquid and evaporate off kind of quite quickly and then we can make the jam from the strawberries and that sugar there and it's a pectin sugar so that should be kind of quite all right so that's kind of quite interesting so we're back when that's reduced and we're going to make do you need to see me making jam yeah we will do that bit but anyway that'll be uh, once we've reduced that down then we'll add those together and i'll show you what that's, that's like when i've taken it further down right so that's reduced down a bit i don't want to reduce it down anymore i don't want to run the risk of it boiling over so fruit in I suppose we could cook the fruit, cook the fruit down. Okay. No, and then we need to get the sugar down the top. And then boil this up and make a thick jam. Because when we add that macerated fruit, some of the liquid is going to leach out of the, of the uh, fruit into the jam and it's going to water it down anyway. So I might as well make a, a thick jam that's kind of quite reduced down. So, I'll get the rest of that juice out. That less, less that sugar out something else. So, this up to the boil and reduce it or well, and, and boil it until it turns into a into a thick jam. The jam's been cooking down. It's not going to get thicker than that without it burning. So, we might as well put the fruit in now. Certainly need more fruit than that, didn't we? Maybe we should have used half the amount of fruit to make the jam than we actually did. But anyway, we're going to have to reduce it down so it doesn't really matter. So, that like that, and then bring it back up to temperature. Do a bit of washing up while we're doing that. We'll simmer it for five minutes. We don't want to do it too long because we don't want to break the fruit up. We just want to kind of heat it all the way through. And then we'll leave it overnight and what will happen is uh, a little bit of excess moisture will come out of the strawberries and then we'll see if we need to strain and um, reduce the dam down and then do, repeat the process again but it'll give me an idea of uh, how much liquid we need to remove from the strawberries before they will suspend themselves in the jam that's my idea anyway I've been doing it by feel and touch and smell and taste but I'm just trying to want to make it more of an exact science but anyway so simmer it five minutes just so the fruit heats through and then we'll leave it overnight and we'll see what happens in the morning with it so the jam has cooled down overnight let's get that out of the way because I've just had a fizzy drink so that looks okay so the fruit looks okay so we need to strain that uh, to get the fruit out and then we'll weigh how much the fruit uh, weighs and then we'll be able to get an idea of uh, then we'll get an idea of how much uh, moisture the strawberries have, have lost i'm going to strain it into something and then we'll thicken up that jam and then we'll add the strawberries back to the jam and then repeat the process and then hopefully tomorrow morning uh, the jam will have set and the strawberries will be uh, into, into dispersed uh, in the uh, jam and not all risen to the top and then we'll be able to calculate uh, what kind of ratio of moisture we need to remove from the strawberries to uh, make them completely um, that word I've just used to interdisperse between the jam so I remembered where are we? 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 yeah so I remembered that these strawberries in here 
it was uh, we went down to about 190 grams something like that and there was originally 500 grams in there so they've lost more than um, half their weight in what we call it in uh, in liquid so that's just kind of quite interesting so we'll be able to we'll kind of work out if we need to uh, how long we need to leave the strawberries in the liquid for so we potentially could uh, leave the strawberries in the in the in the macerating until they get down to the right kind of level of uh, moisture content uh, that then they will be easier to make jam out of well this jam out of but anyway so that's that so they've lost more than half their weight they've lost um, they're down to two fifths of their original weight aren't they yeah something like that so they've, they've gone to about two fifths of their original weight um, so they've lost uh, three fifths of their moisture content into there and then I'm going to use that uh, that liquid in there. I'm going to make a syrup out of that, and I'm going to have that on hot days. But anyway, by the by, strain those, weigh it, and then reduce the jam down. So I have thickened up the dew, uh, the uh, liquid part of the jam, and that's looking like it's going to set like a nice jam. And then we've got uh, about 450 grams worth of um, strawberries. So that's what they've kind of shrunk to. Right, so they've kind of lost two thirds, about two thirds of their um, original weight. So bring that up to the boil, just to kind of sterilise everything, and then we're going to put it into the jars, and I'm going to see how it is in the morning. Um, I haven't got any smaller jars, so we're going to have to use big jars, and it's going to be for me anyway. So I've just sterilised them with a bit of uh, a bit of boiling water. So just up to temperature, just to kind of, if any kind of yeast has landed on the strawberries or has been strained or anything like that, it just makes sure that they, it kills any kind of bacteria or yeast or anything like that, or any kind of, anything that's landed on them. There's probably too much juice in there for the amount of jam. I've got a spoon somewhere. Wash. So, uh, I don't know. There's probably too much liquid in that. So we might need to adjust the recipe. So it might be a case of doing macerating double the amount of strawberries that we actually make the jam. So if we you, if we um, macerate a kilo of strawberries, uh, we'd probably need to do 500 grams worth of uh, straw, turn 500 grams worth of strawberries into jam, and then do it that way. Um, I think. I think. I think. Not entirely sure. Oh, that's hot. So I've got some lids. Mm. I've got some lids. I'm running out of lids. Oh, that will do. That will do. So that'll be fine. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what I think about the strawberries. Jelly on top, that one looks a bit warmer. And then, as long as there's a spend in the jam, I'll be happy. Yeah, that jam's certainly thick enough. Do you need to see this? Well, we could stop, but I don't think so. Um, no, we need some in there. Just trying to judge. No, because I'll open the smaller one. That's what I'll do. I'll open the smaller one so it doesn't matter if there's not enough strawberries or juice in it. That. I can't do that. They're the messy process. I don't know how it's not a messy process. That's going to burn me if I'm not careful. Oh, that 
there. And those last few strawberries. There and there. And then top up with. Jelly. The jelly part of the jam. Is it right? I don't know. Oh, we've just got a bit too much. Oh, I've got another container. I've got that jam jar, which will be fine, but just a little bit of a bit of jelly in the bottom. So, and then we'll put the lids on and we'll see how it sets up. But it's certainly going to be thick enough. Here's the jam part of it. And we'll just kind of see if the strawberries have lost enough liquid that they don't float to the top of the jam, which is not what I wanted. And then we'll know, hopefully. It's pointless doing that. There's not really enough in. But I don't like waste and all that. But anyway, so that now can all get washed up. Bit on there quickly. Bit on there quickly, and we'll give it a, a poke down. Hmm. Let's see, they want me to float to the top there, aren't they? Well, as long as some of them, are, some of them at the bottom, we know that they won't be floating to the top. So, So we'll see what they're like in the morning when they're properly set. Right, let's have a look at the jam. So it's set well in that jar. We'll open this one. Yeah, there's some strawberries down the bottom. It's a little bit softer than the water of light. A little bit softer than the water of light. So obviously. No, we've used it down enough because it's set well enough in there. So, the strawberries need to be a third of the original weight, and then we'll suspend in the jam. It's just a little bit thinner than the blight. Let's get a bit out. I don't want to have to do this again. But I've answered a question that I wanted to know. It's just a little bit too thin. strawberries a hole and they haven't floated to the top of the jar so I'm going right down to the bottom yeah the strawberries at the bottom so there we go the strawberries need to be a third of their original they need to get rid of two thirds of the amount of, of water in the um, in them to work uh, to what we call it to not uh, float to the top of the jam don't think you'd do that with actually cutting the jam you just end up boiling the jam, the strawberries to bits. So I, think, I think that's surely. I think that's the only way you can really do it. Am I happy with the consistency of the jam? Uh, it's not going to win any awards, but as a compote, that's delicious. So, am I happy? Will I do it again? Probably, probably, but it might be a next year type of thing. Um, but now I know. I know. Now I know what. Um, how uh, the the magical formula for the strawberries. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'll probably have another go. Oh, what are we up to? This is number eleven, number twelve. 
in the strawberry jam series, but anyway, um, once you've got loads of strawberry jam. Right, so I'm not going to be beaten. I am going to thicken up um, these jams. Although not too thick. But So I'm going to scoop out the strawberries and I'm going to put half liquid jam. I just warmed it up in a pan of, a pan of water. It's got a lot of strawberries in here. So, just do that. I don't... Actually, I could just pull it straight through. I think that's what's wrong. So, drain those out of there like that. I'm going to weigh these strawberries again to see how much weight we've lost as well. So, that's going to go in there. That can go in there. This is going to go in the pan. Get that strawberry out. And I'm going to reduce that down to a thick jam consistency. And then I'm going to add the other liquid back to it. So we're only going to reduce it down. I'm going to do, reduce down half the liquid so that will make sure that it's a, a good kind of consistency because I've got some other jam that I made the other way and it's nice but it's just a bit too a little bit too thick for my liking so I reckon if we reduce that down by half it'll be a good enough consistency I'm just in there. no that's fine so we'll boil that up Get it thick, and then um, can hear a funny noise. Um, and then what we call it, and then we'll add the strawberries and the what we call it back, um, the other juice to it, and the strawberries, and then put it in some fresh jars, and it will be the right kind of consistency. Then fingers crossed. But I'll just pause and I'll scoop those strawberries out, and then we'll get uh, to know what uh, weight of the strawberries they are now. Right, that looks like it's going to be thick enough, so we'll pour the rest of the runny jam into it, get it all up to temperature. I've weighed the strawberries and I've put them in the jars, and there's about 370 grams worth of strawberries. So, lost quite a bit. Lost quite a bit. So there's a, about a quarter of what they originally weighed now. So they've lost you know, three quarters worth of their... Um, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do this exactly how I want it. I just don't think the strawberries are always going to want to give out some moisture into the jam and then the jam is always going to be a little bit thinner when it cools. And the only problem is as well that the, the strawberries are going to get too, too thick and too kind of quite chewy which is a little bit of a problem, not too much of a problem, but there's always that, oh, need another light on. Um, I don't think it's just, just going to be exactly how I want it. But, I don't know, I think experiments lead in interesting places, don't they? And you learn something, and as long as you do learn something, I don't think it really matters if something works or doesn't. As long as you learn something from the experience, I think everything should be everything should be fine. So I'm not bothered about it being too sterile because I'm going to eat it pretty quickly anyway. Well, it's, I'm going to keep it in the fridge so it's not going to go off. There's so much sugar in there that's not going to be a problem. So that's come to temperature enough. Use the pot that I've got to hand and then pour jam over the top of these strawberries. <coughs> I'm going to burn my hand already. That's better. There's no way the strawberries are going to float to the top. They're going to be 
pretty evenly submerged. But this is far too much of a faff, if I'm honest. Far too much of a faff to make some strawberries with and hold strawberries in. Hmm. Don't worry. That can be that. And then just enough for this. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I've still got that little container. So we'll just melt that gem and pour that into this smaller container. So, put some lids on, we'll let these set, and we'll see how they are in the morning. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there we go, that's better. That's what we wanted. Just a bit too much of a faff, if I'm honest. I mean, not for me. I mean, not for me, you know. Well, that's a good jam consistency, and we've got the whole strawberries in there, so. But it's faff, and it's a lot of strawberries to make. Not that much jam, five jars, about that, that size. But, you know, I've learned something from it, I'm sure. I don't think I need to do it again. I don't need to think I need to do it again. There's, no, there's going to be no easy way to kind of do it on, at home. Uh, it probably needs like factory conditions to replicate it type of thing, but it's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. The idea of having whole strawberries in there is just really luxurious, but anyway, I'm sure I'm done with this video, I'm sure, but I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy at the results, I'm not happy that I won't be able to do it on a, uh, on a, on a, on a kind of like a grand scale. It's, it's like a, a week, a week long process. And then you've got to make jam a few times, the same jam a few times. So it's, that's what I'm not happy about, but I'm happy with the results. So I've cracked it. Although it's probably far, far away from what I originally wanted to do. But anyway, I'm happy. <laughs>